Okay, so here we are. 2011 Ford Explorer. Jump into the car, turn it over. Getting a pretty funky light show here when we try to start. So there's definitely a battery issue going on. Let me check to see what's going on under the hood here. Okay, we got our basic voltmeter. We're gonna turn it over to 20 volts. Okay, set it right there. Okay, take our uh, leads, put the black on black, red on red. And we're getting readings of 10.18, 10.17 volts. That's too low. Test your battery after it's been sitting for at least an hour to get what's called resting voltage. A normal battery should read 12.6 volts. 12.2 volts is about a half charged battery and less than 12 is considered discharged. If you get a battery that's reading less than 10 volts, burnt toast. You got a battery issue. Let's see what happens when we turn it over. See how creative I can be here. Now we're going to try and start the car. We don't want that number to go below 10, but it's definitely going to consider next below 10 now. So, I'm going to press the start button. Typically, checking a battery, we would not that we would want that number to not get below 10. Oh yeah, that is definitely dipping below 10. Okay, so now we're going to hook up some uh, jumper cables here. Okay, so we hooked up the jumper cables to a spare battery here. Looks like it's got 11.37. Gonna go ahead and turn the crank on the car and see what happens. Okay, so we started the car. And you can see the amps came right up to 14.5 with the car running. So the alternator's doing its job. 14.5 is a great neighborhood for the alternator. Anything about 14.2, nice and strong alternator. I think those numbers are fluctuating because I'm having trouble getting a good grip on my hot wire here. Yeah, that's better. So, there we go. Now let's see what happens when I shut down the car. See how strong the battery is. Let's see if it lasts. Okay, so we shut the car down. Wow, look at those. Look at the volts drop on that thing. It's dropping pretty fast. Just for fun, gonna leave it on here and see how low it can go. So it's holding at 12.2. No, it's dropping. I'm gonna turn on the headlights and see how fast we can drop this. So one technique to check the battery is to turn on the headlights for two minutes and then see how much the battery drops. There could be surface voltage on the battery that's, you know, giving me that high number. But after uh, two minutes with the battery under load with the headlights, we should see if it drops below 10. Okay, just turned on the headlights. Wow, that dropped pretty quickly. Okay, so it's been about two minutes. Battery seems to be holding it at 2.8. We're gonna go ahead and try and start it. Okay, 
Okay, so we just tried to start the car, and the car wouldn't even turn over. You know, there's definitely not enough volts to turn it over. Remember, it needs to be over 10. It's reading 7.75 now. The battery is definitely weak. Um, any kind of surface voltage that was on there from jump starting the car is off the battery now. Um, so as far as troubleshooting, you know, we've, we've gone a certain distance here. Uh, so yesterday I tried to charge the battery. It did not charge. I cleaned up the uh, terminals. Still didn't charge. And jump started the car last night. You know, I had nice strong voltage. Let it run for a while to recharge. And the voltage did not hold. So, so all of those things tell me that it's definitely worth pulling the battery out and running it down to the local auto parts store for a check. So I've got uh, one, two terminal, one, two battery holding in nuts. Uh, they're both, all four of those are 10 mil. Okay, just got back with another battery, but before we get too deep into that, let's clean up these uh, clean up these terminals a little bit. I'm gonna give the I'm gonna give the terminals a nice clean in here with our terminal brush. The battery terminals and the battery posts themselves. Just takes a second but makes a huge difference. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is take a minute to um, prepare our battery. So, battery corrosion actually comes from battery acid eventually working its way up from the battery compartment up onto the terminal here. So, we're going to smear some of this battery terminal grease onto the terminal posts. Then we'll drop this thing over to try and absorb some of that some of that acid as it comes up out. Okay, so we've got our new battery in there now. We'll drop our leads on here, see what it looks like. Okay, 13.06. That's much better than what we saw this morning. Let's go ahead and start it up and see how she works. Wow, that's very strong. 15.32 volts. The alternator's liking that new battery. Alright, cool. I'd say that was a success.